Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we'll answer a few questions here regarding Windows downloads, where to get the Windows image if you want to have a fresh copy of Windows because you can download it from Microsoft website. I see too many people downloading it from shady websites that you don't know where they're coming from that could be infected with all sorts of malware. Um, so we're going to answer tons of questions, including some on the activation and the free windows uh, question all the time because people are a little mixed up as to um, the the question of free windows or not and, and whatever. So in activation also. So question number one, where do I download Windows 10 or Windows 11 real image to install on my PC? I'll post a link to both Windows 11 page where you can use the uh, Windows 11 installation media or download the disk image here. You see, you can select the download for the disk image. And you have this page, which is the Windows 10 page for download. And to get the uh, image, you have to download the um, media creation tool and with that the media creation tool app you'll have an option that will be download the uh, iso or the image for windows 10. so though both links will be in the description below this is where you download a real copy of windows 10 a real copy of windows 11. uh question number one that i get uh if i download this will it install if i don't have a key yes it will absolutely it will. It will give you a certain amount of time where it's going to say, yeah, it's okay, you can use it, which I believe is 30 days. Um, I haven't tried it in such a long time. I don't remember exactly how many days, but uh, it's kind of a trial that you can have. Then it's not going to stop working. What's going to happen is you're going to have that watermark on the bottom right. It's going to appear. It's going to tell you that you're not activated. And it will prevent you from changing a lot of the settings because most uh, are a big chunk of the settings will just be frozen and you won't be able to change anything but windows in itself is still going to continue working so um the question that a lot of people are actually answer wrong is well no no you download it and it continues working you just can't change the settings so it's a free ride uh, microsoft allows this microsoft allows it to work but it's illegal if you look in the um, documentation and the user agreement. You are illegally using Windows 10 when you do it like that. So technically, Microsoft could look at who never activated their Windows and say, hey, you're out and just shut it down. And you got nothing that you can do or say. Uh, but they're letting Windows work with the settings kind of turned off, basically. Uh, now, if you don't have a key and you're wondering if your computer can get Windows 10, um, if it already had Windows before, so if you had Windows 10 or Windows, um, even Windows 7, 8 in the past, depending on the machine you have, some machines have the, uh, pro the product key embedded within the system. It's in the firmware. And when Windows installs, it can see that. And in some cases, it will see that there's a product key and it'll activate and it'll be okay. A lot of people have the impression Windows is free because they say, well, I have this PC that I found and I've got Windows 10 on it and it's installed without a product key and it's activated. Uh, Microsoft is giving it free. If that works, it's very simple. It's because that machine already had Windows on it and it actually works in the requirements of getting Windows 10 or 11. Remember that a lot of PCs were activated with Windows 10 and have what we call a digital license. What that means is that when you install it, the Windows operating system will go to the servers and check out with the different serial numbers of the hardware of your PC if that PC has been activated in the past. And if it sees that in the servers, it says, yep, activated. Uh, it will activate. It's not because you're getting it free. It's because it already was activated in some way. Or like I said, it has a product key embedded that is compatible with the free upgrade. 
So that's why it activates. If you buy brand new hardware, a brand new PC, and you don't have, um, you know, that never, never had Windows installed on it. Um, remember that that um, PC will not activate. If you download one of the images, it's going to say, nope, you got you know, to enter a product key in there. So that's these are things that uh, a lot of people kind of miss out on the information of what's, uh, you know, what the activation and, and all. And for the rest, well, everybody that thinks Windows is free, it's not. It never was. And you do get updates to, um, you know, the latest version. If you have Windows 10, you do update to Windows 11 for free. Um, it's possible that, you know, maybe you updated a Windows 7 PC to Windows 11, to Windows 10 and then 11, although most Windows 7 compatible PCs are not supported in general. Uh, the bulk, the majority of people that have Windows on their PC never had it for free. They bought a new PC. And people have the impression, well, Windows is free. It's coming with the, the PC. You paid the license when you paid the amount of, of money for that computer. The manufacturer made you pay for the license they actually had to pay for your PC. Windows is a paid version in any new PC that you get with Windows on it. So it's not free. And that is why Microsoft is, you know, Windows is still the third biggest cash cow of Microsoft. It's a huge amount of money. It's billions of dollars, and it comes from licensing fee. So stop thinking Windows is free. It's not. And so you do get free upgrades to other versions. But in some way, somehow, you paid for it at some point. And that, for example, people that had Windows 7 went to Windows 10 for free. It wasn't free technically because you did pay for Windows 7 in some way. So there's always somewhere where you actually paid for it because there's no totally free. I've never paid a penny for it. Um, that machine that you have in some way, if it activates, somewhere along the lines, actually, there was a paid version of Windows somewhere in there. And even if you activate it and you, it, it lets you use it for, for free technically, it's because it was already activated. It's because at some point, once again, there was some paid license somewhere. So that's the way it works. And so uh, this is, um, you know, how Windows is. It's not a free uh, operating system like uh, like Mac OS. When you buy a Mac, you kind of pay for the use of the OS uh, at the same time. It's the same thing. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.